We are continually told we live in a nation of laws where it's illegal to steal, rob, and murder. Yet every couple of years, we go to the polls to elect people who do just that in the name of government. We are continually told we live in a nation of laws, but we are not told why we, the people, are held to the letter of those laws under the threat of punishment, while those who write them, pass them, and impose them are immune from prosecution under these very same laws. When government takes away our unalienable rights given to us by the Creator, then we must take away government's right to govern. Yet, as we tolerate these injustices, we are told by those we elect, those very same politicians, that we should use the tools provided to fix the problems, the very same tools that created the problems, the very same tools that keep the criminals in office, as we should never resort to rebellion because, after all, we are a civilized nation. When an animal becomes rabid, no matter how much you may have been attached to it, it must be put down. When we look at the situation we as a people are in, is anarchy, the formation of an anarcho-state, such a terrible option? 